Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you our super simple, low-tech but awesome camper van plumbing system. And I'm also going to share the thought process and why we chose to put together this particular system. We have two six-gallon fresh water jugs. We're using a five-gallon bucket as our gray water tank and it's set up to be able to drain from under the van into a dump station. We have a small undermount sink. We soldered our own copper pipe faucet and we have a marine foot pump to pump water through the whole system. All right, so now we're gonna take a look at all the components and how we set everything up. So for the fresh water, we have two six gallon fresh water jugs. So we have a total of 12 gallons, 46 liters. And we picked those because they're really sturdy. If they're heavy, you can pick them up with both hands. They're BPA free and they're narrow so we can fit two of them in this small cabinet here. And also, as you can probably tell, the van is still under construction. We intend to have a door here. You can access these from the inside, but we also wanted to put a door on the outside so that if you're bringing a couple of these in and they're heavy, all you have to do is open this door and slide them in and it's a lot easier. This right here is our gray water tank. As you can see, it's just draining directly from our sink and into the top here. We chose to use a five gallon bucket uh, because we can find those anywhere. This one is made for food, but you can still buy it at most hardware stores. What we like about this one is that it's clear so we can see how much water we got in there. It also comes with a lid uh, that when you put it on, it seals the top completely, so it's leak proof. Also, there was a small opening here with a cap that we removed, and we were able to cut a small hole in the rubber lining, and then put our pipe snug right through it. So it creates a really nice seal, but it's still removable. At the bottom here, we just used a really standard bulkhead fitting. Uh, we cut a hole through the bucket at the bottom, and put the bulkhead fitting in here. And then we just installed a hose bib into the bulkhead fitting. From there, we attached this quick release. Uh, there's a hose connected to the quick release that goes through the van and under the van with another quick release at the bottom. So we can drain our gray water tank using the quick release going through the van with a hose and into a dump station. Or we can unclip the quick release, remove the tube at the top and just take the bucket out. To empty it. We chose the five gallon bucket first of all because it's really easy to find anywhere. It's very standard and it's small enough that it fits inside the van uh, and it's much easier to install uh, than a gray water tank that would be mounted under the van. Another plus is that when we're in cold climates since it's inside the van there's less chance of it freezing. Next is the foot pump. We absolutely love it. We knew we wanted to use one, but we were having a hard time finding one and our friends Create Wonder suggested this one. So we thought we'd try it out and it's awesome so far. So basically you just have your pump here and there's two flexible pipes connected to it. One of these pipes goes into your fresh water jug right here. And the other pipe goes up and into the faucet right here. So basically, you push the pump with your foot, it takes water out of your freshwater tanks, pushes it through the faucet, and then drains through the sink and into our gray water tank. We used these uh, flexible pipes. What's nice about these is that they're kind of rubbery. So what we did is we cut a hole through the lid of the fresh water. The hole is a little bit smaller than the tube, so when you, we put it in, it creates a seal. And we only put a hole in one of the fresh water jug lids so that we can just switch the lids when one's empty. So the reason why we really like this marine style foot pump is that we have actually a surprising amount of control over the flow of water coming out. And pretty much as soon as we stop pumping, the water stops coming out. So I think that we're gonna save a lot of water with this. Uh, because we have to mechanically make it come out. We're gonna save a lot of water in comparison to using a 12 volt pump, I think. Uh, that was the other option and it's, it's, it's a good one, but in the end we chose not to go with the 12 volt pump uh, because it would probably use more water. And they are also surprisingly loud. You can often hear them from outside the camper and often we're trying to be quiet, so we thought this was a much better option for us. And of course what's nice is that it uses no power and uh, we're limited as to how much power we have available, so that's 
another bonus. As you can see, there's no taps here. We were able to get away with just a faucet. And that's because since we're using the foot pump, there's no water pressure, so this works great. So we thought it'd be cool to build our own faucet. We cut up a copper pipe, soldered it together, and it was actually a really cheap option and probably easier to install than a regular faucet. For the sink, we have a small undermount sink. I think it's meant to be a bar sink or something. Uh, and since we're using garden hose connections and pipes, and we really don't want them to clog, we're gonna have this screen in the sink all the time to make sure no big chunks of food go into our gray water tank. So we chose to drill a hole into the floor of the van and have our gray water tank hose come straight through the bottom of the van. That's a little bit extreme, so if you're interested in doing something similar but you don't want to drill a hole in the floor of your van, you could just turn the bucket sideways so you have the hose bib sticking out of the van, and then you could have a hose connected and coming out through the side door. So that's our plumbing system. Uh, before deciding to do this, we did a ton of research and considered several different options. And the main reason why we went for this is because it's really simple plumbing. Aside from the foot pump, every component can be pretty much found at any hardware store. So if anything needs to be fixed or replaced, we can easily find it pretty much anywhere, which is fantastic. It was also a really affordable setup. Nothing in here was overly expensive. And I think if we went with a more standard RV setup, it may have cost us a lot more money. Hope you found this video helpful. Stay tuned because we're going to make more videos about different parts of our van build. If you missed it, a few months ago we did a collaboration with NordVPN. VPNs give us a secure Wi-Fi connection when we're using public networks. The deal they're offering our viewers is still on for a little bit, so if you're interested, we'll put the link to that in the description of the video. I'm also assuming a lot of people are going to wonder about that foot pump, so we'll put a link to that also. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.